lions, and more specifically, male lions are known for their prowess and brute dominance. Nothing is easy about ruling the pack. As the ruler, you must constantly be on your guard and be willing to fight to the death to protect your clan and your territory. Like in football, there are always the threat of outsiders slash free agents looking to move in and take reign over you. Although young and inexperienced now, one day they will challenge you for complete control. This is the life of the male lion. One day you're the king and you're on top. The next, you're put to rest by your challenger. Lions are the ultimate warrior, and they aren't giving up their kingdom without a fight. You're now in tune with Pride Time. Let's get it. You will need a clock to know what time it is. It's pride time. And if this is your first time stopping by the channel, it's time that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that thumbs up button and select the bell icon and select all so you get all the videos I drop. You don't want to miss these, man. Must see TV. Must see YouTube. No, I'm just playing with y'all, but go ahead. I really appreciate that, man. Uh... Let's talk about it, man. Carry on Johnson. Um, whoo, you know, some things happened over the weekend. Um, you know, carry on Johnson. If you aren't familiar, um, already on Twitter, there was a fan, uh, and I'll show you here. He po he made a post and basically he put up a video. I'm sorry, not a video, a photo of DeAndre Swift and Matthew Stafford getting workouts together. And then he then compared that to a photo of Carrion Johnson and his girlfriend. And he put them both together to make it seem like one is working and one isn't. Now, the tweet got almost 1,300 likes and over 100 retweets. And then I scroll down to the comments and I see a mixture of opinions. You know, you have some people who are saying, you oh, know, this doesn't prove anything. And then you have some people saying this is all the proof you need that carry on doesn't want it enough. And you have some people just ready to come out and say Swift is the is the guy, the number one guy and carry on is going to be running back too. Now, I think that's complete disrespect of carry on uh, to treat carry on like. He's some sort of scrub is just on call for. Now, you know, just because carry on isn't posting his workouts, although I would love to see, you know, what he's working on, um, if he's getting, you know, his knees and his legs together. But uh, that's that's up to him personally. If he wants to do that or not, no one's going to be able to force him to do anything he doesn't want to do. But you would just hope that, you know, in the midst of this draft, um, specifically because you have the Lions taking two running backs, one DeAndre Swift in the second round, and one in the fifth round, and Jason Huntley, who I really like. And uh, I made a video about him, and I will put that video in the description. You should check it out. Um, you would think that carry on would have some sense of uh, urgency to show that he's working and he's improving. Um, it doesn't really seem like carry on really gets the message, but you know who really seems like they're getting the message? Ty Johnson. Look at this video, uh, you know, older video, but I think Ty John, I think it's safe to say Ty Johnson got the message. And carry on is just 
carrying on, no pun intended, um, without, you know, his, his, his daily life and, you know, he's not really worried about anything. Well, carry on was placed into, um, favorable position. Uh, when carry on was drafted, uh, we had running backs such as, you know, Amir Abdullah or Theo Riddick who aren't going to challenge anyone for a starting position at the running back position. Um, so carry on, you know, not really faced by that. Uh, you go and acquire a, a older uh, LeGarrette Blunt, a older CJ Anderson. Once again, you know, some guys who can maybe come in and, you know, take the load off of carry on, but no one to really challenge carry on as far as his position. But now, you know, you have, you know, two, three younger guys in this running back group who look hungry on the surface, you know. Um, Ty Johnson was drafted last year and uh, he didn't get a whole lot of experience last season. But um, he like I said, he, he looks hungry. You got two guys coming in this draft who are hungry. So, uh, carry on. You don't have the luxury of just, you know, playing things down. Uh, I think carry on is very, very much aware of, you know, the challenges that uh, is going to be presented to him this year. And he should feel some type of way that the Lions took, took two running backs uh, in this year's draft. Now, you have a lot of people saying, oh, man, I don't like this. Y'all trying to put carry on against DeAndre Swift. That ain't right. Uh, this ain't no competition. S says who? <laughs> S says who? I don't know about you, but I love competition. Competition brings the best out of everybody. This is the real world, man. Ain't no time for fairy tale and make believe stories. Everything in life, you're gonna. I, you show. I showed y'all the intro. Every aspect in life, people are gonna come and try to take your position, and you have to make the decision whether you are going to do whatever it takes to prove that you should be given the favor. Over that person who was coming at you. This is everyday life. The person, the job you have right now, someone is right now studying. Someone right now is putting in the work to take over the spot that you got. I love competition. And I don't see nothing wrong with it being a competition. Now, as far as people saying that carry on is uh going to be just straight up replaced traded that sort of thing i don't think that's going to happen at least not right now carry on johnson does have injuries this is guy this is a guy who hurt both his knees one knee in 2018 and another knee in 2019. he hasn't completed a, a full season yet this will be his third year so, although the Lions don't have any immediate plans for carry on as far as moving him, if carry on was to have another injury that would sideline him for some games, oh, you best to believe he could be the first thing out with the running back room we got now. Ty Johnson, DeAndre Swift, Jason Huntley, Bo Scarborough. Oh, yeah, carry on has plenty to worry about. So while y'all want to call on him and whisper sweet things in his ear saying that it's going to be okay, y'all going to work together. Yeah, that's the ideal thing. But if DeAndre comes in, comes in here and Jason comes in here and Ty Johnson takes that step and carry on takes a back step, that could just be it. So... Although all this praise is being put on 
Swift to come in and take Carrion's place. I just want to say fall back on that. You know, Swift was exciting in the college, but this is the NFL. And there are plenty of players who haven't been able to take that step, that next leap to the pros. So before this guy has even taken a snap, some of y'all are already ready to give him the keys. And if I'm carrying on, I feel a certain way. And I know that right now, I'm the man for the job. And it's up to me. It will be my own doing if I lose my position. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments, man. Once again, it's Pride Time. Appreciate y'all for stopping by watching the video. Hey, look, competition isn't a bad thing, y'all. Do, do these two players have to hate each other? No. But make no mistake, they will compete and they will try to better one each other. And that's exactly what they should do. I'll holler at y'all in the next video. I'm out.